It's reveal day. Sneakers is excited. Mo is excited. Yep. If you don't, if you don't know who Sneakers is, a dog, you have not seen him before, right? Well, I'm sure they've heard him bark annoyingly. Guess what? I'm really excited for TLP release day, and I get to show you one of my favorite colors. Now, this color was around the last release, but it wasn't working for some people, so the people at TLP took them all back, reformulated the whole thing, made it perfect for everyone. Let me introduce you to... Da -na -na. Aga Panthus. Aga Panthus! <laughs> so, I am loving these colors. Now, this light is in the cool light, and I'll show you also in the warm light soon. Let's see what it looks like on a tile. What do you think of this color? I'm yeah. it, 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 it smells new and it looks new. It smells, it's like a brand new fresh smell, right? Yep. So, I just adore this color, and I'm really excited to pick um, a color palette for it. So, this is what I'm thinking already, okay? Let's pick out some colors. Now, Mo, one of my new favorite colors, I'm really into grays these days. Yeah, me too. You like gray? Yeah. Okay, so I wanted to show you something. Right here in, 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 our, in, our, in, our, in our painting cabinet. In our painting cabinet, I have what's called Tri-Art. Tri-Art. Tri-Art Graphite Gray. It's a Canadian company. Wait, American. Wait, I think I touched that. I think I saw it. Probably. Uh, I touched it because I was before this video, I was testing paints for, for like an hour to see if the cap was defective. Yeah, he's really helpful. So I really like it. I don't know if you can see, there's a really nice kind of warm pearlescence to it. Okay. Now, so I'm thinking obviously grays and purples and maybe some like magenta. I'm like really into that combo lately. What if, Mo, okay, hear me out here. What if we grab... We're going back into our painting section so you won't feel, so you won't see our face. Um, what if I grab ooh, some Crinacridone Violet? Let's see, let's put it on the swatch. Yes. Meanwhile, you are allowed to choose one pigment to add, but you have to think of our color situation here, okay? Because I'm going purples, little pink. Buy, buy these colors. Well, they, 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 will make you, they will make your day bright. Oh my god, I love that! <laughs> okay. Not actually we sell but this is an advertisement. Well, it's not really like an advertisement, so I apologize if it's a little obnoxious. Yeah, well, it's, it's kind of an advertisement. Kind of. So look at this quinacridone magenta so far with the aga and the gray. So let's pick a perps. You know how I love my perps. Okay, what picky are you picking? Uh, yeah, well, I like this so far, right? But we need like a deep smoky perps. You know how I like. Do I have any smoky perps left mixed up? I might have to make my another batch. What you got? Oh, Morrison chose meteorite. Do you know what? That will go delightfully well with this color palette. Bye. <laughs> buy that piggy from LeeshaLovin.com. Actually, Tio, you buy these piggies from Fluid Art Company. Uh, but we actually kind of woke for Fluid Art. Well, we don't work for fluid art. We love their piggies. Yeah, we have their piggies and we make. I mean, piggies. I can I can ask if they'll pay Mo. Do you want to work for fluid art company? No. You're a really good advertiser. I, I get paid by I get paid by your subscribers. <laughs> okay, that is also not true. Let's get back to work. Okay, meteorite. <laughs> we have. <clears throat> it's kind of like a pewter, but it has a nice warm gold to it, and I think that it will go nicely. Last one is I'm gonna. I'll, you know what, I'll run a little bit here. I want a dark purple. So let's pretend I'm going to make another purple. Um, <clears throat> you're not really going to see this meteorite. But uh, no, it's not really going to work. You know, put some meteorite like on top. There. Okay, I just placed a bit of meteorite on top of the agapanthus for you to see. So it's looking pretty good. And we just need like a dark thing to, to balance everything out. Okay, stop with your hand signals. I'm trying to get you. I'm, I'm trying to get you fans by acting excitement. Oh, you're doing a really good job. Actually, just be yourself, though. People love you just when you're like, yeah. Oh, TL for a sec. You know what? I'm gonna get go over there and get my smoky perps. 
but I think this is the way that we're going. What do you guys think so far? Do you like this like magents, deep, agas, a little sterling, goldish color happening? All right, let's go to the spinner. See you in a sec. Okay, <clears throat> so I have all the colors mixed up and I've decided on this order. So I think I'm gonna do my faux pillow in this, um, the Triart graphite gray. I really love it as a background. And I'm thinking because I'm doing a background, I'll just do a regular old bloom vine, hope for the best. So this is the TLP meteorite. This is the quinacridone violet. This is my custom smoky perps that I usually make, which is just diox purple with a bit of carbon black, no bone black in it. This is the agapanthus. And I decided to top it off <clears throat> with this violet. I hope it works for me. Sometimes the violets, these light purples don't look great. This is Amsterdam ultramarine violet light, okay? And I'm gonna be using my Payne's Gray Shell Yard Cell Activator. I don't measure, but I like a good, a bit of a thicker consistency for that. So, and my pillow paint color to go regular white. Hopefully that will all work out. So let me put my paints down here. I really hope I can do Agapanthus justice. Um, okay, oops, I don't have enough in here. Okay. I'm going to be doing a 10 incher for fun. Now, I'm not gonna put too much pillow paint out because this does stretch a lot. We'll see how sh thick she is today. Sometimes they're thicker, like this is really thick today. So I'm hoping this works. Some cans are like pretty thick, some aren't thick. It's kind of the look of the draw. So you have to be aware of that. I'm just going to stretch it out a bit because especially because we're doing a bloom vine, I don't want to have to spin it out too much. There's still quite a bit on there. Um, because I want to be able to leave the negative space, but also have room to tilt the way I want to. I hope there's not too much paint on here. Okay, so let's get to work. Now I'm gonna to try to get these boobleys out because you don't want boobleys in your faux pillow. You know what I mean? So let me just knock them out. Okay, and I'm gonna do my regular circular, try not to leave any white showing. And hopefully there's enough to cover the sides. Oops, there's a bit of white there. I'm gonna get as much out as I can. Oh, I hope there's enough. As I start pouring my paints down, it will stretch. Okay. That was a painfully slow process, but okay, we have that. Now, we're looking good. So I'm gonna place my colors very softly right here, okay? So let's start with the meteorite. And I do want it thin because I do want this um, background to show. So I'm gonna to try to be as dainty as possible. You know, that's hard for me. And as clean as possible, which is also hard, isn't it? So we're gonna go like really light, okay? So there's the meteorite. Notice not one drip happened. I'm gonna put these out of the way so we don't get dirty. Now I'm gonna do a bit of this magenta. Dainty, dainty. Okay. And I will do this is a pretty simple color combo. I'm gonna start on this end, because why not, right? Smoky perps, which we love always. Sometimes she comes out looking black, which I like too. Okay, and the star of the show 
She really thickened up on me. Do I want to thin her out? Mm, I just don't want to get too many bubbles. Okay, just, oh man, I'm nervous. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna thin her out a bit, which kind of sucks, because I am gonna get bubbles, but I wanna make sure, I'm just thinning her out with some Josanya. Oops, I wanna make sure that everything is perfect for her. She needs to know she's very loved and <laughs> taken care of. You know, I'm gonna go slowly. There's still gonna be bubbles. But, okay, we're more manageable. Okay, oops, there's that drip, but that's okay. I really want her to show up on this one because she is the star of the show, so I will put a little bit more, you know? So people understand that she's here to stay, okay? Finally, I'm going to, oh, you know what, let me get, I need a new skewer, but so we don't want these boobles to like take over, you know what I mean? Okay, I'm just knocking this one out. I'm gonna do a little bit of this, just like, you know, a trace. Okay, not looking too bad, I think, I don't know. I think we're gonna be okay. Getting those boobles out, all right. I'm going to put my cell activator down. Are you prepared for what's about to happen? I am not, I'm gonna blow this way so you can see. I think you can see better this way. Um, here we go. Cell activator, put a little more. Do, 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 do. Okay, I don't know, we'll see. drooling. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Aim is important. Trying to get all those black bits out. Then we will assess on the sitch. Can we even see Agapanthus? It's hard to tell in this light. <clears throat> but we can, I believe, see Agapanthus. Now I'm gonna run and get my skewer while she's doing her thing. her there's some cute things happening but of course you know we've got to fix some boringies mm -hmm. do, 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 do. just things that are like bothering my eyes just do a bit of you know altercations here not altercations, alterations, Lisa. Okay, some of this is probably gonna come off anyways, but just to be sure, this part kind of bores me, but. Okay, let's start stretching her back and forth. So I'm gonna grab on to this end first. Oh, you know what I should have done is do this. So she moves easier. Okay. Just, we're just grabbing a little bit here. Then we'll start stretching her out this way very slowly and carefully. 
because I could technically start spinning, actually. Ooh, I do see Agapanthus. Okay, but at least I don't want to get rid of those, these edges here because I kind of like them. So I'm just getting off some paint this way first. Go back there. We'll get off this way. You know, because she's kind of pretty. So this is where you got to go slow. I actually am enjoying her quite a bit, I must admit. Okay, let's get this side off slowly. A little bit. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we'll go back this way. And then I'll spin it. I still have a, quite a bit to spin because I did put too much paint on, but at least this way I'm kind of controlling uh, more uh, than if I just spin it all off, you know? So we're gonna get her back to where I want her. Then, um, now I can start kind of spinning and see what we have left here. So that little agapanthus thing that fell, why don't we make her a cute little, you know? Mm-hmm. How is our paint? Still got some paint to go, so I'm still gonna just bring her back this way a little bit, you know? Help her get all the paint off. Do a little spinny winny. But I'm actually, I think I'm kind of happy with her. I was nervous about the whole situation. But she pretty, there's still some paint, which makes me sad, but I'm gonna stretch it back this way and stretch her back the other way. Okay, we're getting a lot of paint off, excellent. And then I'm just gonna bring her back down this way. You know, we're just tilting back and forth because I don't want to lose those edges. But we're doing pretty good. We're still, okay, I'm gonna spin it again, see how we go. So remember, how much paint you put down is very important if you, you know, have something that you like. I don't want to get rid of it, but I'm kind of happy. Let's see. Yeah, she's okay, she's okay. All right, guys. I'm gonna take you to the warm light so you can see, hold on, do I like it? Does she need to go down a bit? Like, what's her shape, you know? Like, are we going like this a little bit more? Probably, you know, just to give it, I don't want like one straight line in the middle. Like, does she go across this way? She could go, oh, she's so pretty, guys. Yeah, so she's either, she's either going, and you tell me what you think, actually. She's either going like straight across like this, or she could be going to the diagonal like this. I'm not exactly sure. I'm a more of a diagonal girl. You, Yeah, you know what? She's diagonal. I voted. Let me know if you agree. Um, thanks for joining. And if you want Agapanthus, she's going to be available, I believe, June 25th. But you keep um, follow. Go to um, this little piggy on Facebook to follow the release times. And there's so many cool colors. And... By the way, right now is the release of all the colors from all of the cooperating artists. So you'll get to see all the different ones that are coming out now, and then you can mark them down on your calendar. Love you guys. Bye.